What's up guys? So Flo Eddie here. We're in the Bahamas and today we're with uh, Sean, Will, and we're going to be doing some uh, high speed trolling and hopefully we get to slow pitch in some areas. But yeah, this is the boat that we came across in as a contender. This is Sean's boat. Got it rigged up, ready to go. As soon as we check in through customs, uh, we'll be hitting the water. It is absolutely beautiful here. It's a really cool resort. Uh, first time across for me. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Um, it was a little bumpy, but it was a really, really cool trip. You know, uh, especially we, we're in the bean bags, so it's pretty comfortable. And we're gonna go check in the customs, and we'll check you guys later. Peace. Two people on each side a lot of times. Yeah.
Bring them right in the door like that. That's cool. He's right up You just gotta kind of lift them over the over the set. There you go. Watch the bottom. Watch the hole. There you go, just like that. Cool. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, boys, we got both of them. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Nice fatty too. Look how fat <laughs> that thing is. Dude, that one is big. That one There's some right. pliers on the ground here. All right, guys, I'm going to. Uh, up let me go right back to that same spot and shoot down. First wall, who won the bow, boys? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Nice. Two nice. A wahoo, another wahoo. That one looks pretty feisty still. Oh, that's a nice one, Sean. Nice! Oh! Man, yeah. I don't know why that thing felt like a little baby. I know. That's, that's, that's a beautiful that's one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but usually with the pressure, you know, the amount of pressure, he's pretty hooked just right. He's lit up, man. I know. Look how lit up he is. Damn, man. We're doing good. Damn. Said to go deep, remember? Anything on there? Look like it's still hold. Yeah. It's still hold. It was just green. Hey, there you go. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice one. Nice one. <laughs> hold fish there. Speed, Robbie, a little more speed. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Good job. Yes. <laughs> no shark! But that's why I was telling you by this thing. That thing's spicy now. Yeah, he is. <laughs> You're dead fish. You don't know it.
Look at this, guys. Woo! Woo! Number five. That's it. It's Let all me see. about. Let me yeah. see. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to. Just in case. <laughs> How deep are we? 200. 200. Yeah. This is number six, guys. It ain't getting much, uh, scared, hopefully, it's hopefully we can get her to the boat. Seems like a really big one. It's got some I really meat head shakes. 76 feet. Is it spinning? Nasty head shake. Going yeah. across, so we've got a line.
No, it's don't say the A word. Sharks. Yeah. A lot of sharks here. <coughs> oh, we're just now we're just drifting we're just drifting over all that rubble. That means that you had something good. The sharks don't bother down. That was a that was a really good fish, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright guys. Alright. This is the damage that we did today all high speed trolling probably out there for about four hours maybe one two three four yeah three four. Yeah. three and a half hours yep this doesn't happen every day but that is amazing <laughs> Which nice is, little trip. That's the big one right there. Captain Robbie. Right out. <laughs> Put us on the fish today, man. Oh yeah, man. Hey, had to find him, man. He, he took us to the secret spots. <laughs> had to find him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be be cleaning while we're already cleaning. We gotta do this. Besides, you gotta put the sign in the box. So they can know you're all good. Yeah. Oh, we got the cameras pointed this way. Oh, we'll we can do it over side. there. And then yeah, yeah, we'll do one right here. Hey, you get in the middle with This is the place that we're staying at tonight. Uh, I was not expecting this. This is absolutely beautiful place. Really nice. <clears throat> Tons of room for a lot of people, for big parties. For the Johnny Jigs crew when we come back. This is gonna be awesome. Check out the bedrooms. Hell yeah, look at this bed, man. Nice queen size, bathroom, shower. Nice, dude. Look at that mirror, that's cool. Who's that guy? <laughs> we could go out on the front porch. Yeah, I left mine out there. Stinky shoes. This is the other bathroom. Nice shower. Alright boys, this is 
necessary just for you use these almost as a, as a winch they have two speeds um, you can put it down in low gear or high gear and it doesn't even put that much pressure on the rod but it's mostly mostly landing and fighting these fish is all done with the reel these things work just as a winch to get these things in here and each one's numbered and labeled as different depths to or different lengths I should say uh, different different numbers different areas and that way when you're trolling multiple rods you can intertwine and turn and make these turns with these lines and this way you're not getting tangled each setup probably i'd say is about 100 to 120 bucks and just terminal tackle that you have on the back side of this line that you're putting back there and you're fishing with so the last thing you want is some sort of tangle twist cut losing tackle you want to try to prevent that so what we do ahead of time is we measure all the line out and we know exactly in the spread where each one of those lures are same thing on the other side over here different depths you know different marks now <coughs> as you've seen in the video sometimes you can get really fancy and you can get the electrics now ideally if we could afford it we'd fish four of these but we're not quite there yet so we fish these on the long. This has a digital readout to where this tells us exactly where the lure is on the uh, spool. And each single one of these we start with is these are the different uh, lures that we have on here. Different colors. Uh, basically, all it is is an Islander squid skirt. Um, these lures here. Uh, most of what we have is uh, made up at uh, RJ Boyle. Um, a good friend there, Nick Noon, makes all these lures uh, with an Islander um, and a skirt. And a shock leader, right? And a shock leader, yeah. So 20, 25 foot shock leader. Yeah. So once you get through, you know, picking colors and I mean, you can see what happens to some of these lures and some of the cutoffs on these. What was the hot lure? The hot lure was the old cotton candy. Pulled that up in the sun over here. So and you can see it's got some battle wounds. It's missing one, you know, too many to count. And that's lead beads down the middle? Yeah, lead beads down the middle. It's a little beat up. She's well, a little twisted, but you can that. see, look at their teeth marks on there. there look at that. I mean, they beat them up pretty good. Nope. And so we went down there for, for Wahoo and we ended up getting six. Six Wahoo. Six Wahoo. And this technique, super technical. You guys make sure all your knots, everything has to be tied perfectly because 
at one, you know, we're going so fast, so much pressure on these rods. One little flaw on any of the setups, you're gonna lose a fish. And you're losing a lot of gear, a lot of money on these lures uh, that you can find at RJ Boyle. And, you know, just make sure you guys, you know, talk to them, because those guys are the pros when it comes to this stuff. On that, that good, you got, you know, we can't stop. You're gonna have to just keep going, you know, as much as we wanted a jig, uh, but you know, it, this doesn't happen that often. And when it's on, you just gotta keep going. And uh, you know, uh, next time we'll get out there, we'll definitely get some jigs in the water, and we'll get to explore some new territory. Get some local sure. knowledge built up on the oh, reefs. Yeah. Uh, we had Robbie most of the time driving us the boat over there, and he uh, is a local Bohemian that lives over there, and he's been fishing probably most of his life over there, so. You know, mixed in with uh, some local knowledge and some spots and some areas where you're able to capitalize on it. And, uh, you know, we did pretty well with his driving. Yeah. It seemed like the Seymour mapping was key in this trip because we were able to see the edge of the reef. Instead of looking at a chart with lines yeah. and depth, we could see a reef and the drop off and yes. stay right on the edge and that was sink down and sink back in that was the first time there. i've been able to see the shading that seymour mapping has and we finally got the transducer you know dialed in to read our depths well but in the beginning we didn't have the right ping speed and having that seymour mapping chart and having the actual drop off from that range of 100 to you know 300 to 400 feet i mean that thing had that like that that's what we cool. call the wahoo highway over there and that seymour mapping chart had that perfectly yeah, like great. outlined and i was like blown away at how much you know i'm selling good. <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was donated <laughs> but yeah it definitely came in the, came in the big play that's it and you guys drove the boat beautifully on the way back alex 40 we almost lost Sean. the camera yeah we were airborne a couple times a couple beautiful woke me up back hurts okay. all right yeah. thanks all right guys uh don't forget to like and subscribe and jig on or troll on whatever <laughs> whatever you guys fish are doing on. fish on